Hey, it's Nikki Bra. Today we are going to talk about the most important thing when it comes to hormones that you need to understand for the rest of your life. When I look at someone, when he sends me his progress pics, or when I look at someone, let's say, at the beach, in the gym, I can literally, visually pinpoint what his hormonal problems are. For example, I look at someone, when he sends me his first progress pics, I can literally pinpoint Hey man, this guy has low testosterone, high prolactin, high estrogen, low progesterone, low SHBG, and so on and so on. It's possible to visually, even without blood work, to pinpoint what his hormonal problems are. Also, it's possible to look at someone and say, this guy, he has high testosterone. He's muscular, he looks confident, he has lots of body hair, he has a deep voice, you know. It's actually possible to visually already pinpoint hormonal situations. Now we come down to the most important thing you have to understand about hormones, that hormones express something. Meaning, if your hormonal situation is bad, let's say you have low testosterone as a man, it will express not only physically, yeah, because of, this is obvious to many people that, let's say, if you have high testosterone, you're muscular, you have body hair and so on and so on. This is obvious to some people. But one thing is not obvious at all, that these hormonal expressions also can corrupt, or not corrupt, but they have an influence on your thinking, on your mental game, on your situation mentally, basically. So if your hormones are bad, and there's no balance, basically, depression, no confidence, and so on and so on. So, you have to understand, most important thing about hormones, that hormones express something. They give your body basically tendencies on how it should react to certain things. And that it basically decides how you think, how your situation mentally is, and physically as well. So, both sides of the world basically, mentally and physically. This is why it's so important to keep hormones in check to test them, to observe them, and try to gradually improve the balance of your hormones. Because let's say you're a student, or you own a business, or you just want to fulfill your maximum performance, your maximum potential in life, you, have a, you want to have a good quality of life, then you need to make sure that you improve your hormones and that you ensure that your hormones are in balance. Okay? Because as a man, you want to make great decisions in life. Decision-making has to be great. You have to be confident. You have to express that you're confident so you can attract women, let's say. You have to be confident at work because who likes guys who are not confident, who don't know what they're doing, who are nervous and so on and so on. This is all expression of hormones. So this is why you have to understand that it's so important to gradually improve, improve and maintain hormones because Hormones are not God-given, they are not static, meaning if you're blessed with high testosterone naturally, it is not God-given that it will be this way all the time. It may decrease basically over time and it will degrade over time because as we get older, it just degrades. This is how nature works. So it's important for you to understand of what importance hormones are because hormones express certain things. Let me give you one specific example. When someone adds up fat, basically, gets fat, I can see how the fat adds up, basically, to his body, whether it's more in the hip area, whether it's more in the belly area, arms, legs. It's literally possible to pinpoint how his female hormone situation is, most likely, without even doing blood work. This is how potent hormones are. It's like... An infrastructure is like a highway of information for your body, so your body reacts. If you add up fat and you have high female hormones, let's say prolactin, your body will get the information, okay, we have to store fat in nipple and hip area and so on. So it's possible to pinpoint what's going on because hormones express something very specific. Keep in mind, hormones express physical appearance and also your mental situation. What's the problem nowadays? Most common problem, for example, for men, 
low testosterone, high female hormones. And what's the effect? What's the result of this? Is that quality of life degrades over time. Yeah, because let's say you have a business. You have to make confident decisions, but your hormonal balance is not given, so you make bad decisions, so you're not confident, so you're nervous, so you just don't make the right decisions. And obviously, quality of life will degrade very, very fast because, well, if it's the worst case scenario, depression, low libido, low energy, bad mood, mood swings. This is all mental, basically. And physically, obese, health problems, diabetes, and so on and so on and so on. No muscle, bad physical appearance, not healthy appearance. So this is all what hormones are doing, basically. Yeah, so you have to keep in mind hormones. This is the most important thing about hormones, okay? You keep in mind. Hormones express something very specific, mentally and physically. Depending on your hormonal balance, how it is, it will express something very specific. What you want to do is to gradually improve your natural hormonal balance, so you make sure that your body's infrastructure for information, yeah, when it comes to these things, is optimal, so you have the best possible foundation of your body's reaction to certain things. Okay, so... Keep in mind that hormones express something mentally and also physically. That's why you need to keep them in check. Because if your hormonal balance is ruined, you can go to the gym for a long, long time and see no results. Why? Because hormonal balance is bad and your body does not get the right information to basically do this certain expression you want. Yeah, so your body does not get this information. Okay, now we have to build some muscle and lose some fat. That's why it's important to actually keep, basically, check up on your blood values and try to improve them gradually. It's very important because without this, this these are the absolute basics, you will not see results as fast as you want them to be. So very important. Keep in mind, hormones express something mentally and physically both and if your hormonal balance degrade, your quality of life will degrade in proportion.